In this work, we demonstrate that it is possible to generate high-fidelity 3D reconstructions using as little as two or three physical views and still achieve comparable fidelity to complex multi-view rigs. This work was done in collaboration between Carnegie Mellon University, Apple, and the University of Adelaide. Any autonomous agent we develop must perceive and act in a 3D world. Therefore, the ability to infer, model, and utilize 3D representations is of central importance in AI, with applications ranging from robotic manipulation and self-driving cars to virtual reality and image manipulation. In the entertainment sector, Complex, multi-camera rigs, sometimes involving hundreds of cameras and specialized hardware, or motion capture systems such as Wicon or OptiTrack are currently the method of choice to obtain high-fidelity 3D reconstructions of non-rigid objects such as human actors. Such a setup also requires specialized hardware for storage and gen-locking the camera exposures, and as of now, aimed initially at only human body and face 3D pose reconstructions. Similarly. There are efforts in neuroscience and biological experiments to analyze the behaviors and movements of animals in three-dimensional space. The details of such 3D movements provides a rich stream of information about the animal's behavioral state, allowing us to draw inferences about the interaction between the animal and its surrounding world. In such experiments, the 3D information is typically captured either by using commercial marker-based motion capture systems such as Wicon, OptiTrack, etc. on animals, or using a very complicated multi-view rig setup, substantially increasing the cost of these experiments in either of those setups, thus limiting the progress of science in these areas due to financial constraints. In principle, two views should be enough to triangulate each point and reconstruct the 3D structure. However, any imperfections in 2D key points or calibration could lead to poor 3D reconstructions. Since there are no constraints for reconstructing the points, they could end up arbitrarily anywhere. Due to the reason described above, the two views are insufficient for a robust triangulation approach to accurately reconstruct the 3D structure in presence of noisy 2D key points. Large multi-view rigs enable the usage of accurate camera calibration and multiple views to minimize the error on each point and reconstruct the 3D structure. For example, the large multi-view rigs shown here utilize multiple observations and leverages robust triangulation with outlier rejection to minimize the error for each point. The specific example of Panoptic Studio here combines feeds from this mess of cameras, 480 low-resolution BGA cameras, 31 high-resolution cameras, and 10 RGBD cameras. The system computes the location of each camera in space, so when all the feeds are fused, it can accurately reconstruct the 3D position of a point in space. However, there are two major shortcomings associated with this approach. First, it could lead to immense cost and complexity. Second, such an approach still does not enforce any constraints on the overall shape of the 3D structure. Our approach, on the other hand, proposes that instead of more cameras, we should add a neural prior to constrain the shape, that is, the set of 3D points so that the constrained 3D structure lies on a manifold. This approach allows us to combine multiple different instances or observations, even though the object is deforming, by leveraging only two or three physical views at any single instance. Taking the example of two views, the 3D structure S is drawn from a statistical shape distribution using a learned neural shape trial and it is then projected to the two views using an orthographic endpoint or perspective endpoint solver. The parameters of the shape distribution are adapted by minimizing the predicted and ground truth 2D projections. Here, S, R star, and W tilde are recovered by constraining the shapes through the neural model. The reprojection error between the predicted and input 2D projections drives the loss function for this setup making this approach completely unsupervised, since no ground truth 3D information is used at any point. Motivated by the hierarchical sparse coding literature, we leverage an autoencoder type approach where the network FE extracts the block sparse codes, capital Psi1. Thereafter, the bottleneck layer that we term here as rotation factorization or RF layer factorizes the block sparse code into a rotation or a projection matrix 
and the unrotated vector sparse code, italicized psi1. Consequently, the same encoder Fe is used over any available views to obtain the unrotated vector sparse codes and projection matrices for that view at the bottleneck. These unrotated vector sparse codes are then pooled together and fed into a unique shape decoder FD. The weights of this decoder neural network are shared with the encoder neural network. Since the pooled codes are rotationally invariant, they generate a 3D structure S in a canonical frame. Finally, the 3D structure is projected over all the available views, which are two in this case, using the algebraic closed form solution of either an orthographic endpoint or perspective endpoint solver, generating the predicted 2D projection. As explained above, the 3D structure S, rotation matrices R star, and the predicted 2D projections W tilde are recovered by constraining the shapes from this shared neural model. Thus, in this work, we constrain the neural shape prior approach with a view equivalence assumption, namely that multiple simultaneous views correspond to a single shape, thus preserving the benefits of both multi-view and neural prior approach within the proposed framework. To our knowledge, this paper is the first effort applying neural priors to multi-view non-rigid structure from motion. Comparing the two view reconstructions on monkeys, hands, and human bodies again, we see that our approach is robust to noise on 2D key points. Comparison with baseline iterative multi-view triangulation with robust outlier rejection on OpenMonkey Studio datasets is shown on the left. On the right, we demonstrate that our method with three views is compatible to 16 plus views that utilizes multi-view triangulation. Here, we visualize the 3D reconstruction comparing our approach with triangulation on the OpenMonkey Studio dataset. Feel free to pause the video at any time to analyze the 3D reconstruction of the monkey body over non-sequential frames. Demonstration of our method on human 3.6 million, a human body dataset. From the qualitative 3D reconstruction analysis, we find that our method is robust to both 2D key points and calibration noise. We also compare our approach against methods using deep learning for single view 2D to 3D lifting. Although these single view 2D to 3D lifting methods are of prominent research interest, we argue that multi-view consistency is still crucial for generating 3D reconstructions of high fidelity needed for many real-world applications. Since our approach incorporates the neural shape prior while enforcing equivalent view consistency, the generated 3D reconstructions are comparable with some of the most complicated multi-view rigs. In conclusion, we show how our method can achieve comparable fidelity to expensive calibrated multi-view rigs using a limited number of uncalibrated camera views. Simplification of multi-view camera rigs in terms of 1. the number of physical views and 2. the need for calibration could open the door to a wide variety of applications including entertainment, neuroscience, psychology, ethology, as well as several fields of medicine. On top of the 3D structure, we also return the camera matrix. This should enable 2D and 3D data collection with imperfect or no calibration setup, making the expensive and complex multi-view rigs obsolete. Addressing some limitations, we would like to point out that the classical multi-view triangulation approaches can infer 3D structure solely from the rigid 2D correspondences stemming from cameras at a single time instant, meaning it does not require any training data but it requires multiple views and exact calibration of the cameras. If given sufficient calibrated physical camera views, it still remains the gold standard for 3D reconstruction. Compared to that, even though the single view 2D to 3D lifting methods address the cost and complexity limitations, they end up giving very poor 3D reconstructions. Our approach combines the best of both worlds, namely, if calibration is unknown or the number of views is sparse, 
we argue that our approach is of significant benefit. Although our approach is limited in comparison to triangulation as it requires some amount of instances or training data, it is still substantially far fewer amount compared to single view approaches and provides 3D reconstruction performance that is comparable to complex multi-view rigs. Feel free to view the project webpage and read the paper as well as poster to know more about this project.